TX Arena. Game 33, Season 34, and we hope you enjoy rebounds and basket right along with us on Valley Sports. The 19 and 13 Heat, the 5 and 25 Pistons, third of four games between them, and the first of two in Miami, and it's game two of a four-game homestand with the Heat having won three straight here at home. And season greeting to Heat Nation. Always great to have you with us. That's the point guard, John Crotty. I'm Eric Reed. You know, the Pistons have the worst record in the NBA. And the night that seems like the least of their problems, the Pistons, uh, their, their issues have gotten compounded. Five players in health and safety protocols. Kate Cunningham, the rookie, went there yesterday. Those other four players joined that list today, including starters Isaiah Tew Stewart and Killian Hayes and one-time Heat player Rodney Magruder. All four of those guys tested positive today or going into safety protocols today that leaves them nine available players which is more than enough just one more than enough meanwhile miami's still shorthanded but they've won five of their last seven games regardless five wins averaging 114 points per game with 23s and one of those losses was a winnable game in detroit we revisit with our toyota trip you know, the Pistons this year, 28th in rebound margin, 21st in points in the paint, yet they had the upper hand in both of those important categories against the Heat on Sunday. Big reason why they won. They have lost 10 of 12 games this year. When they've been out rebounded, John, that didn't look like the Heat on Sunday in any way. No, not at all. It was our Taco Bell take. The Heat defense against Detroit really struggled, giving up the paint too often, allowing their ball handlers to attack off the dribble and get inside and be able to score on layups or driving kicks opportunities they outscored Miami in the paint 48 to 28 uh, they also really dominated hustle points but it changed against the Pacers the Heat were focused they were physical really locked in did a great job containing uh, the ball and, and taking away those types of easy scores inside they also made the hustle plays those 50 50 balls getting on the glass where they were outstanding in terms of blocking out and coming up with those loose ball situations uh, ex excellent job on the effort bucket there for the Miami Heat. Well, John, the Heat are so short-handed, but they did get some good news when Tyler Hero returned. And did he ever return? You know, he's averaging 20 points per game. He had 26 points off the bench in just 20 minutes the other night. And, John, he was a career best. You like plus-minus? A career best, plus 30. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, I'll tell you what impressed me was he missed the three previous games, but he came out sharp, and he really was aggressive. After a little uh, slow start, he got it going in a big way. Look how fresh and bouncy he was with that athletic. And then his shooting looked really tight as the game went on, uh, knocking down five three balls, uh, had five assists, just zero turnovers. And then Duncan Robinson continued to ramp up his three-point shooting. He's been on a tear as of late, tied a season high with 26 points, made six threes, and was a big factor out there beyond the arc. And do not leave off that list, Super Max Struess, who made his first career NBA start Tuesday against the Pacers, and he had 18 points, seven rebounds, four threes. Struess was a big part of another Heat three-point barrage.